Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Let's See Career Mode. Today we have a very, very, very big episode. Because, well, let's take another look at the calendar. We've got Juventus here, away from home. And like I said in the last episode, this could be a potential title decider. Because if after the next two games, uh, nothing's going to change and we're still two points behind them we could actually take a lead on them if we win here against Juventus which would be so crucial and basically for those two games uh, here against Calgary and Empoli I'm only gonna show you like the big highlights and maybe give you a review on the game like after the final whistle blows also in the last episode we saw that Kondreva were, uh, came back from injury however he still got the little band-aid next to his head so I'm not gonna play him yet I'm not even sure if I can but we're also gonna put in Nicola Maru because he's playing or he's gonna be playing against his former club and that's always sort of interesting I guess against Torino. Yeah, Comfortable for them and, uh, oh god there's a big chance for Caleri here the ninth minute and they make it 1-0 that was actually, that was played so quickly. And it's Marcus Sao, who else, scores here. To Lulic now. To Zaza, come on, with your left foot. Oh, what a big chance. Right, and that's it for the first half. And uh, you've just seen the chance by Zaza. We got a couple good chances like that, actually. Unfortunately, weren't able to score. And yeah, it's gonna be a tough second half after that early goal by Marco Saup. Really struggling in the second half, not creating too many chances. Now they get a freaking free kick. It's not going my way at all. I've changed to a 4 4 2 formation, but so far it hasn't helped. Brought in Djordovic to pair up with Simone Zaza up front. Right, that's Philippe Anderson. One last chance, let's just try to find Djordovic, it's a very good cross, Zaza has the ball! Can't believe that he missed that one. Fuck's sake. Ah, oh, Lulic, just wanted the ball there. Ref doesn't want to blow his whistle just yet. But now he does, when we should have a throw here. Anyway, so I pretty much said everything already. Just not very clinical in this game. In the second half, we couldn't create that many chances. The last one by Zaza was very unfortunate, but I think Cagliari actually scored with their only shot of the game. Well, I was talking about a potential title decider, but now we just have to win this game against Juventus just to keep up with them. They're now five points in front of us. However, we've got some great news as Candreva is now fully fit and he's gonna play right here in this home game against Empoli which again I'm just gonna show you the biggest highlights and sort of a resume at the end of each half oh god there's a big chance already for Empoli and they make it 1-0 early as well just like just like Cagliari god damn it it's just a simple pass back and make it <laughs> makes it 1-0 no what are you doing mate what the fuck are you doing come on Lilic oh, unfortunately couldn't capitalize on a big mistake right there let's go from the corner though there's the Rye and he hits the crossbar I can't believe it oh Lilic it's a great ball to closer please finish that one oh, thank god Thank God. To be honest, I could have been down 2-0 already. They've had some very nice chances, but luckily, just before the halftime whistle blows, we managed to equalize with the legend himself, Miroslav Klose. And that's 10 goals for him now on the season. Very nice, and possibly his last season in professional football. Right, and that is it for the first half. And to be honest, I think... I feel like we're playing Juventus already. Like maybe, maybe that's just Juventus in disguise. It's been a pretty boring second half, to be honest. 
We're not allowing that many chances anymore from Empoli. And we're playing a bit better overall. And now we get possibly the chance to make it 2-0 there. And a pro uh, 2 1 obviously. I probably should have just sweated that one. We give closer the goal. But we have another chance. Edison, however, it's blocked. Cavanda. Terrible shot. Oh, closer. Get that to Gandreva. Come on. Come on. Be the hero. I can't believe it. This goalkeeper, man. And that is it. Oh, unfortunately, again couldn't win against a pretty bad opponent. But this bad opponent was actually very impressive, at least in the first half. In the second half they weren't that great, but in the first half they pretty much dominated us. Oh no. Looks like Juventus have lost their last game. Ah, uh, and if we would have won... Ah, uh, we could have... We could have actually closed the gap again. And it would have been like, as if nothing happened. But now Fiorentina have also caught up. And now only three points behind us. And... AC Milan only one point behind us, so it is still a pretty big game. Could still kind of have the chance to still win the title. And if Juventus win this one, I think they're pretty much clear. So there's not a single change to the starting 11 at all. And hopefully this team can win at Juventus Stadium. Here we are. It's beautiful. Day in the north of Italy as we're gonna take on Juventus at their ground oh, this would be a great win right here especially because I think we won the reverse fixture I think we've won that so if we win this one we would also have the advantage over them obviously in the Serie A if you draw on points it's not about the goal difference as we take a look at Juventus starting 11 it's like Tevez and Lorenta up front, not Morata. Paul Pogba's in. Vidal, Perlo, Marquisio. This is a very, very good side. And in the form we are in currently, after the last two games. Oh, can we do it? Can we do it, to be honest? Not sure. God, it's Vidal. The ball already pass it to Lorenta. Now to Pogba. This is way too fast for me. Wow. Oh god. This could be the first big chance of the game and Pogba makes it 1-0 here. That was just way too easy. Way too freaking easy. Just look at that. Look at that. What is that defending? What am I doing? Oh, what a Ball. Come on! I can't believe that. I can't believe that. I expected Buffon to get there. So I tried to slide into somehow poke it past him possibly. But Buffon completely misplayed that one. Oh god, 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 no! Post there. Almost conceding the 2-0. That would have been so frustrating, especially after that chance right there which that was just ridiculous oh what a mistake what a mistake come on Jordovic please equalize yes thank you that was a nice bit of pressure right there and Felipe Anderson makes up for the chance earlier and puts a nice ball through to Jordovic who easily finishes that one right and that's it for the first half so very even game so the draw is, so far is pretty much right, however Juventus, obviously, they always have the potential to score any time, so I'm actually pretty nervous, but well, luckily we got the equalizer before half time. Come on, come on, please, oh my god, that's just, that's just torture right there. And somehow we haven't conceded the second goal here. Oh my god. They've got so many bodies forward. There's the big chance for 
Jordovic! Yes! I'm sorry, I was just so focused right now, but Jordovic, with the second on the day, scores on the counter here. Oh, I actually thought that pass was going to be intercepted for sure. But Jordovic, great finish, mate. Wow. Oh my god. Why are why are the players there? Why was why were they there? I was trying to build up but uh, for some reason they were already in the box even though they didn't even have an attack there. God damn it, again I shoot myself in the foot and again Poor freaking Pogba. Come on. Come on. Not a chance on the counter. There we go, Philippe Anderson. It's time to be a hero. God damn it. God damn it. This was the chance. This was the chance to possibly still win the title, but. Fuck, why, why did I make such a stupid pass there? It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Just crippling myself. So now Fiorentina are only one point behind us. AC Milan still only two points behind us. It's actually getting very close there. Hopefully you don't miss out on Champions League football. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a win in this one, and to be honest, it's just me to blame right there, especially in that last game. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.